Most churches really struggle with consistent attendance, and that's even from your regulars or your members. The truth is, even your regular attendees only attend about half the time. But what if there was a simple invite strategy that your church could use to get a 10 to 15% boost in attendance? Would you be interested? If you stick around, I'll show you how you can use this strategy to do just that. Hey, Tyler Smith, co-founder and CEO of Texan Church here. Our YouTube channel is full of church communications, tips and strategies to help your church build meaningful relationships with your members and your guests by making them feel known, noticed and loved. So be sure to hit the like button on this video and click the subscribe button below so that you don't miss a thing. Right now, your church is competing with the everyday hustle and bustle in the lives of busy families. So what you need is to interrupt people's routines and to get them excited or intrigued about the new material that you're going to be sharing. And it's also a great way to keep your church on the forefront of their minds. Maybe even create a little FOMO or fear of missing out. That is what has inspired the sermon series bump. You see, we heard about this strategy from a few pastors that we work with who communicate before and during a new sermon series to boost their church's attendance by as much as 15%. That's fantastic, right? Well, this invite strategy is simple. It's just three intentionally timed and crafted text messages to invite and remind your people of the new sermon series. And it's a clever way to overcome the downside of sermon series. First is the invitation message. Send this one on Wednesday at 1 p.m., which is around lunchtime, so that your members are reminded to invite their friends when they're with their coworkers. And you'll also wanna be sure to remind your members to show up for the first sermon in this new series. It might sound something like this. Hi, Jenna, looking forward to our new sermon series this weekend. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to invite your friends, right? So super simple. Second is the reminder message. And you'll send this message on Saturday morning between nine and 10 o'clock in the morning. And the timing is critical here because you wanna catch people while they're still talking through their plans for the rest of the weekend. Here's an example of something that you could send. So excited for the new sermon series that starts tomorrow. See you at 10 a.m. The coffee will be hot, Pastor Joe. The last message is the follow-up or objection message. And you'll send this message on Tuesday after the first sermon or as soon as you have it uploaded so that people can view or listen. Let's try sending something like this. Hey Jenna, we just posted the sermon from Sunday. Take a listen. Hope you can join us for week two of this powerful new series. You'll also want to include the link right to the sermon in this message. And now this third message, it might be the most important of all. Do you know why? Well, it starts with the downside of a sermon series, where if people miss on the first Sunday, then they assume that they're gonna be lost. And so then they'll decide not to show up for the rest of the sermon series. It's a great excuse and allowing them to view or to listen to the first sermon, it takes away that objection. It makes them feel like they haven't missed anything. They haven't missed out. And they'll be more likely to attend the rest of the sermon series. For more resources related to this tip and to get even more message templates like the ones that we've shared here today, head to the description below and download our text messaging playbook. You'll find the sermon series bump on page five. And if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any tips and strategies on connecting with your members and your guests using the power of text messaging.